Hello to all my artsy friends. Today I'm sharing how I made a spring tiered tray from start to finish. We are going to create the tray with Dollar Tree finds and then we're gonna style the tray with some DIYs that we'll be putting together. Everything you need to make this is under $20, including all the decorations. So let's get started. For the top tier of this two-tier tray, we're going to use this pan from Dollar Tree. It had a little sticky residue on it, so I'm going to pull out my trusty homemade Gooby Gone. This is just made with two tablespoons vegetable oil and three tablespoons baking soda. I keep it in the storage container and it has lasted quite a while and works so well to get that annoying sticker residue off. You just rub it on the goo and then wipe with a damp paper towel and it comes out nice and clean. I'm going to go give this pan a coat of spray paint. Today I'm joining a small group of friends who are doing their own spring crafts. There will be a playlist which I will link below and then you can check out the other spring DIYs. Now that I have a nice base, I can do the hand painting. I'm trying to match the charger that I had already made, so I'm making sure that the color is as close as possible. I added some rounded stickers from Dollar Tree and also added some leaves on the side. I had created that charger for fall, but I think the colors and the leaves work so well for spring that I wanted to repurpose one of the chargers for this tiered tray. Let me show you real quick how a plain looking charger from Dollar Tree was transformed into a faux wood looking charger. I started by spray painting these chargers from Dollar Tree and I gave them a nice white base and then got to painting. If you're visiting Artsy Cupcake for the first time, thank you so much for becoming part of this positive and creative community. My name is Maria and every Friday I share home decor videos like dupes of expensive decor, budget friendly DIYs, and inspiration that changes with the season so you can always keep your home decor fresh and on trend. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell, that way you'll know when my new crafts go up. I made sure to keep the sponge brush strokes going in the same direction. This gave the chargers that wooden look. I found a plate that was just the right size to trace. Trust me, you want a circle to trace because I have a really steady hand and I tried freehanding that circle. So yeah, just go with the plate. <laughs> this is my trusty Sharpie paint pen, which is oil based. Sometimes it gets a little dried up and when paint pens get dry like this, I flip the tip around and that seems to help get the paint flowing again. I used a sponge brush to measure approximately how far apart I wanted each of the leaf patterns to be and I made a dot on either side of the circle to mark my spots. Then I painted on the leaves. These leaves are really easy to freehand and they don't have to all match exactly. The hand painted look is what makes these chargers so special. You can add a clear coat after this if you wanna make sure all of that paint stays put. I'm going to use a combo of E6000 and hot glue to stick a Dollar Tree glass face that I painted white to the top of the charger. Then I will adhere the top tray in the same way. You'll want to let that E6000 dry overnight before putting anything heavy on top. 
Now we're going to put together a few little things to decorate our tiered tray. I found this wooden birdhouse and these terracotta pots at Dollar Tree. I saw these wooden signs in the Target dollar spot and they are only one dollar each. I only ended up using two of them, but I liked the colors on the sides of these. The white, sage green, and grayish are a great combo, so that's what I'm going to mix up for painting that birdhouse and the pots. I thought this birdhouse was so cute. I ended up doing the, the main part of the birdhouse green and then the, the roof white and the grayish is kind of on the, the edges and on the little bird perch. If you are a fan of birds, then you should check out my last video I did. I did three crafts that had a bird theme and I just love birds. I think they're so sweet and they are the perfect decor for spring and I can't wait for spring to get here. <laughs> I did paint a little bit on the inside of the pots, so in case a flower was pushed to the side and you saw a little bit of the inside of the pot, it wouldn't be that original orange color. Now if you wanted to use real flowers, I would suggest using some of this waterproof Mod Podge after your paint dries. On the grayish pot, I added some ribbon that I found at Dollar Tree. On the sage green pot, I used a little twine and then painted some of those domed stickers from Dollar Tree with some white paint and glued them around the top of the pot. I finished up with some white florals in those.
had these eggs and bunnies. I think I found them at Michael's several years ago. I picked out the colors of the eggs that match our color scheme. But I was just at Target Dollar Spot the other day picking up those little wooden signs and they had those fuzzy moss bunnies almost identical to mine and they also had eggs almost just like these but I don't think they were speckled but they did have the different pastel colors so you can find all this decor for this tiered tray right in the dollar spot at Target. Okay, now for the fun part, styling our new tiered tray. I cleaned my table. My table here is in the dinette area. And I laid down a table runner. I got this one at Target a few months ago, I think around Thanksgiving time. I gathered all of my decorations and I always try to have a little bit more than I probably will use just so I have options and I can play around and use different things and see what works and doesn't work. So I just arranged everything until I was happy with the final look. You don't want to overcrowd the tray, but you do want it to have a nice full look. Try to alternate the heights of objects as you go along. Try to not have everything be at the same height and that'll really give it a little bit of variety and a little interest. I love the lamb's ear. It is such a soft velvety touch and the sage green, grayish, and whites all look so elegant together. Here is the total cost. I didn't include things like paint and paintbrushes because I assumed that if you're a crafter, you probably already have those kinds of things. But everything you need to buy for the tiered tray and the decorative objects was only $17. Don't forget to subscribe so you'll know when my next crafts get posted. And I will link that playlist below so you can see some more spring craft ideas. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a creative day. Bye.